Hi, it's Tristan here again, and today we have a highly venomous snake. This is the infamous green mamba, Dendroaspis angusticeps. Now, this snake is often confused with other snakes, mainly other green snakes, particularly the boomslang, uh, spotted bush snakes, and other green water snakes, Angolan green snakes, Natal green snakes. However, this individual is its average size and that can tell us straight away that it's a green mamba. Very, a big male boomslang can get up to this size, but very rarely will you find another green snake this size. Another thing is this head. This head is very elongated and the top of the head is characteristically coffin shaped, which is characteristic of both mamba species, the black mamba and the green mamba, and no other green snake will have that pointed snout and that coffin shaped head. Another thing is these yellow flecks that you can see down the body. This is characteristic of green mambas. No other green snake will have it. Maybe you'll find the odd fleck on a spotted bush snake, but not in this magnitude and not this bright, bright yellow that you can see. Another thing is that green mambas are only found where we are in this locality, which is this evergreen forest here in, in the eastern highlands of Zimbabwe, in the Hondi Valley. You don't find them anywhere else in Zimbabwe. So if you're in the Zambezi Valley and you see a green snake, it's not a green mamba, but it could easily be a boomslang or something else. Now this snake's venom is a potent neurotoxic venom. It is less potent than the black mamba, however, it is still highly, highly venomous. If you were to get bitten by the snake, you need to be rushed to hospital immediately, and there needs to be no messing about. It is definitely a very, very venomous snake. Now, with neurotoxic venoms, as they start to shut down the heart and the lungs, so basically the engine of the body, this is in rodents, birds, reptiles, whatever. It shuts down the heart and lungs. Char characteristic signs of droopy eyelids, struggling to breathe. You're feeling very nauseous and just basically struggling a lot. Uh, and this is definitely the quickest acting venom. So in Zimbabwe we've got three types of venom. We've got your hematoxic venom, your cytotoxic venom, and your neurotoxic venom. Your neurotoxic is by far the quickest acting and the most deadly. It can kill you the quickest and you'll start to see signs the quickest. However, this snake, as you can see, very docile. I mean, it hasn't struck at me, just, just wanting to get away. Yes, it is a bit cold. It's been in a bag for some time, so it is quite cold, but very docile. Very docile, and that's typical of green mambas. They often just sit in the trees, minding their own business. Very seldomly do you find them on the ground. They only go onto the ground when either moving from one clump of trees to another, or when chasing prey. They are a diurnal snake. You can tell by these big eyes with these round pupils, characteristic of diurnal snakes. And they hunt their prey actively. They're not like a puff adder or a gaboon which will sit and ambush its prey. They go out and they hunt birds, bats even, all types of arboreal mammals, like squirrels. Squirrels their favorite. And that quick neurotoxic venom puts them to sleep quickly. See this guy, he's very alert. He knows exactly what's going on. He can see me, he can see every movement that I'm doing, but still just, just wants to get away wants to get away into the forest and what a beautiful snake this beautiful green color and it blends beautifully into this grass even it blends beautifully into this grass amazing I hope you enjoyed that close encounter with the green mamba and we'll see you soon
There he goes, look at that eh? Hey, he's chuffed eh? 